All visible objects within Scenario VR have the same set of effects. These are Opacity, which is a setting between 0 and 100, 0 being completely transparent, 100 being completely opaque. Spin X, Spin Y, and Spin Z. These are the rotation of the object in 3D space about the X, Y, or Z axes. The duration is how long each full rotation will take. And Tooltip. Tooltip will display a floating text box above the object with the name of the object. All of these effects can be combined together or used individually as desired. Animations are similar to effects, but they're triggered by interaction within a scene. You can animate an object anywhere that an action can be used. The animations are additive to the effects. For example, if you have an object with a spin Y effect and animate with a spin X effect, it will be spinning on both the X and Y axes. If, however, you have an object with a spin Y effect and you animate with another spin Y effect, the new spin Y effect will replace the previous spin Y effect. There are a few more animations and effects, and they do have some slightly different properties. Spin X, spin Y, and spin Z are still the rotation of the object, uh, but additionally they have the number of full rotations to take. Opacity is the same 0 to 100 setting. Grow will expand the size of an object from 0% of its, which is its original size, to 200% of its original size. The default animation for a hover is to grow to 30% of the original size of the object. There's also Tooltip, which is display a floating text box above the object with the name of the object. And Circle which will display a circle of the given color around the object. Very useful for hover over animations. Finally, back to default. And this will eliminate any animations applied to this object and bring it back to its default state, which includes the original flex applied to an object. You'll see this by default on all hover out actions for an object. So let's go ahead and apply some animations to this. We're going to apply that spin Y with one spin, and we're going to add in a tooltip. And again, on hover out, it will go back to default. So we have an original effect of a spin Y, and let's see what this looks like. So we have a slowly spinning Hotspot, when we mouse over, it spins once, a full rotation, and then goes back and displays a tooltip. 